We're live at Threat Stadium here in New York, New York, the home of the Tyrants. Who would like to remind you that the game will begin after the mandatory half an hour clapping is over. The first one to stop clapping will be killed. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle. The New York Tyrants. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pilot? Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on the shoulder of Bricks Jr. <laughs> You just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot two. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy. Man. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And he runs it for four yards. Third down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. There was a big explosion, and then everyone left disappointed. What do you mean, everyone? Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot Pick up three on a short pass. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he punched his way out of it. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Third down and three. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room it goes right through yeah like a double stuff burrito from taco hell they need a good return here to set up the offense not a bad kick but not a great one either well his nickname is lukewarm and he's proud of that yeah that's why he named his clothing company lukewarm threads and it's first and ten. And he just slipped away like a defense holds him to a four yard pickup there.
second down and six. First down, you know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. that would be a first down but he had a whole lot of ground to make up second down the size of bricks wiener hey sorry partner and that is called for a first down first down and three Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. They've used a strawberry field's dirty trick. <laughs> the quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Damn, man, he goes ten on now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two. Hot, hot. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Third down and the punter is warming up. Hot one, hot two, hot three. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run.
And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Second and eight to go. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. Baby, I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> and it's first and ten. was an all-pro NFL hit. Yeah. And that'll be second and eight to go. Well, fee five fo fo I am not finishing that. Game. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! First and two. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two. First down. Yeah, my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. It's a glitterception. What's that, Grim? You ever get hit in the head with a boat all, Grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. And, he just, and that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. 
Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. It's a zap attack. It's like when you shuffle your socks on a carpet and zap your sister. And then he jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. He could go all the way. The 30. The 20. Close, but no cigar. First and ten. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Bill, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and three. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop a thrown out good, man! You mean aside from bribing the ref, kill the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. That kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Caught for the first down. <laughs> and it's first and, and he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points and let's move on. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. They're 
They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. I'm scared of the I am a hell of a fellow. First and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down in a mile. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. You may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First and ten. Assuming he was aiming for the ground. Third down and, well, good luck. Great catch for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. Teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. It's a brutal hit. Second down and a 
inches. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And that'll bring up second and one. Kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Whenever a player gets big... Oh, he was hitting mid-hurdle and fumbles the ball. And the defense... Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. I love that show. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes 
right through. Yeah, like a double-step burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. So much for the bombs way dirty trick on that play. Didn't fool the defense for a second. Second down and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go. He's unstoppable. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. He is rolling thunder and pouring pain. It's a zap attack. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. go for one when you could go for two. It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, I'm talking about points. No one was going to stop him. That's two points. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wolf socks, slide around on a shit carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel and got blown across the room into the theory at least. And it's first and ten. in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Boom! Boom! 
Second down and two. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Third and two. for pussies bricks they're going for two yeah they got big balls grim yeah bigger than yours that's a beautiful pass for the conversion why didn't the skeleton dance at the rock club grim uh, i don't know he had no body to dance with <laughs> that's a pretty good one When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. yard is better than nothing but not by much two minutes left in the game and we'll be right back after i top off my drink grab me a scotch while you're up second down and nine it's two yard run before he stopped Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And the defense gives up five yards there. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Ah! Oh, that's one hell of a run for a first down. It is not over yet, folks. Let's see what they come up with next. And, it's, and that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them time out to stop our own clock. You know? And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing first down and seven that's a four yard game Second down and four. Mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Hit that hard bricks. Yep. The New York Tyrant. 
Stretch had won the game. It was quite a nail biter today. They came up big with a one point win to seal the victory. Who wants wings? I do. Make them extra spicy. I like it when they come out hotter than when they go in. Oh, no. Please stop. You know, he lives on my shoulder and it's going to get messy. I'm buying. Let's listen to the MVP. Maybe he wants some wings, too. Okay, come back to you. Come on, I'm up. Get him out. Get him out. Grim Blitro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhar Corporation. They get it right every up.